The year 2013 is coming to an end, and as such, I thought it is my duty to make the top 5 Half-Life 3 easter eggs of 2013. So, these are all easter eggs that you have most likely never even noticed before. Let's begin. At number 5 is... Dive Kick. Dive Kick was a game released on Steam in August of this year, and their easter egg gets a little complex. So if you look in the Penguin Concise English Dictionary, you can search for the word Dive, and Dive is defined as plunge headfirst into water, but if you look higher on that page you can see the word ditto, like the Pokemon named ditto, and if you search for the word kick in the same dictionary, you can look down and see kick off, like the kick off in soccer, and FIFA is the most popular soccer game. So now that we have ditto from Pokemon and kick off from FIFA, we can search FIFA Pokemon in Google. Searching this will result in the Pokemon FIFA series by AJ3 FIFA. This is quite a uh, common series on this channel, it even says so in the banner. Now this channel was created on July 11th 2012, which was the same day that Quantum Conundrum was released on Xbox Live Arcade. This game was directed by Kim Swift, who formerly worked at Valve, and Valve is the company that made Half-Life, and Quantum Conundrum use the Unreal Engine 3, so you get Half-Life from Kim Swift, and 3 from the Unreal Engine. Half-Life 3. Well done, Dive Kick. At number 4 on this countdown is the Stanley Parable, or namely the Stanley Parable demo. This game was originally a mod for, you guessed it, Half-Life 2, and now it has had enough success that they made it into a standalone game that was released this year. Before the release, however, they released a playable demo that was made without any of the actual game in it. In this demo, there is a button that when you press it, it says the number... 8. Now, many people overlooked this 8. They thought it was just a small gag from the game. However, this was actually their little Half-Life 3 easter egg. What is an 8 if not two threes? And I already stated that the original mod was a mod for Half-Life. So what we can take from this is that the developers were making a reference to Half-Life 3 with this little 8 button. At number 3 is The Wolf Among Us. The Wolf Among Us is a new episodic series made by Telltale Games, the makers of the Walking Dead episodic series. The Wolf Among Us is based on the comic book series Fables, written by Bill Willingham. And Bill Willingham also wrote issue 168 of the Batman Legends of the Dark Knight series. Now 168 seems like a bit of an irrelevant number, but maybe if you realise that you can split it into two separate numbers you'll see the truth. 16 and 8. 16 represents the Half-Life series, as Half-Life 2 was released on the 16th of November 2004. And 8, as said in the Stanley Parable, can make two threes. So 16 and 8 actually represents Half-Life 3. Sneaky Telltale. At number 2 in this countdown is Batman Arkham Origins. As many people know, Batman Arkham Origins is the third game in the Arkham series, but it's also a prequel to Arkham Asylum. Now, Arkham Origins put their easter egg through the actors like a lot of games do. So, Arkham Origins has a new Batman who is played by Roger Craig Smith, as opposed to Kevin Conroy like the previous games. Roger Craig Smith has played several parts that you might know, like Sonic the Hedgehog from 2010 onwards. But one major part that a lot of people would know him for is the part of Ezio Auditore in the Assassin's Creed games. And Ezio is the earliest known link between the lineage of Subject 16 and Desmond. This is where the number 16 has appeared again, Subject 16. And as established earlier, the number 16 represents the Half-Life series. And Ezio is the protagonist in three different Assassin's Creed games. So now we have Half-Life and we have three. Half-Life 3. And finally, at number one of the top five Half-Life 3 easter eggs of 2013 is... Bioshock Infinite. Now Bioshock Infinite's easter egg is quite complex, so you probably haven't seen this before. So the easter egg starts with the coin flipping scene. This is where the Lutis twins ask Booker to flip a coin. In this scene, the tally suggests that the coin has been flipped 122 times. And if you go to link 122 on the Bioshock Infinite Wikipedia page, you get to this article. And this article states that the game will take place in the sky. Now we knew that, but the article was posted on August 12, 2010. And that's the same day that id Software's event, QuakeCon, began that year. QuakeCon is where gamers get together to celebrate Quake by id Software. And id Software is also responsible for the Doom franchise. Now in 2007, when Doom 4 was announced, the lead developer of id Software was John Carmack. And Carmack left id Software this year to go work on the Oculus Rift. Now here's where the easter egg comes into play, because the third game with Oculus Rift support was Half-Life 2. The third game was Half-Life 2. Half-Life 3? Half-Life 3. And that is the Half-Life 3 easter egg in Bioshock Infinite. So that was the top 5 Half-Life 3 easter eggs of 2013. I hope you enjoyed.